What's going on guys? JSGC here and we are here for another Manchester City transfer update. We're rolling out daily Manchester City transfer updates for all of the summer transfer window. So if you want to stay up to date through June, July and August, every single day with all the latest Manchester City transfer news, make sure you subscribe to my channel. It is free. Also, don't forget social media links there in the description below and sliding across at the bottom of the screen if you want to go and follow me on my Twitter and Instagram. Email also in the description too if you want to hit me up for any sponsorships for any videos or any general business inquiries tiktok link also in the description if you want to go and follow me on there do let me know your thoughts what you make of these transfers in the comments below finally leave a thumbs up 300 likes is the aim we've had some big breaking news in terms of matteo kovacic we'll speak more about that later in the video because first we're going to crack on with the outs and we've got the very latest on calvin phillips now sammy macbeth uh, who is on twitter says that west ham they want to replace declan rice with Calvin Phillips. Calvin Phillips, though, he doesn't want to join West Ham. He believes he can fight for his place at Manchester City and he can become a regular in the Manchester City first-team squad. Calvin Phillips' attitude since joining Manchester City has been second to none. It's been absolutely brilliant. He wants to be here. He wants to fight for his place here. He wants to impress and he firmly believes on that system it takes two years to adapt at Manchester City under life uh, with Pep Guardiola. Calvin Phillips firmly believes that. He's had one season. It's not been his best of seasons. He's been frustrated but he believes in his own ability and if he can keep himself fit and uh, injury three. The world is his oyster because he is a brilliant player. You don't just end up being in the England national team and getting regular minutes there unless you are a very good football player. And that is the case with Calvin Phillips. There's a reason why West Ham want to replace Declan Rice, who is a fantastic player, with another brilliant player in Calvin Phillips. So the fact that he wants to stay at Manchester City, he wants to be here, to me, speaks volume and that is the attitude because there's other professionals at Manchester City who don't have that attitude, who don't want to fight for their place in the squad, who don't want to be at the club. And to me, we're going back always in football to that good old saying that if you are a player who works hard, you will go far. Talent, if you are a talented player who's going to work hard, will go even further. If you are talent that won't work hard, then hard work and high work rates will beat these uh, types of players who are not willing to work and graft every single time. And Calvin Phillips has got that attitude. I personally want him to do another season because I think it's unfair for you to do just one season with Manchester City and make them judgments based on just one season. I need two seasons to be able to make that judgment. The same can be said for Sergio Gomez. I want City to keep hold of him because only after two seasons can I give you a better assessment of how good these players are and whether they are right for the squad. Loads of players City have brought in and not adapted in their first season. Second season, though, they get more used to it, they improve, they get better, and you start to see the best of them. And I firmly believe that could well be the case with both Calvin Phillips and Sergio Gomez. West Ham won Calvin Phillips. Manchester City may be willing to sell. Problem is, Calvin Phillips, he doesn't want to leave. Now, moving on to the ins. Uh, firstly, I want to speak about uh, the uh, vacant position for the Manchester City assistant manager's job. And according to Alvaro de Grado over on Twitter, Manchester City want to bring in Juanmar Lilo, former Manchester City assistant manager, back to the club. Now, he's currently manager of Al Sadd over in Qatar. Manchester City, though, they want to bring him back and make him assistant manager. The Athletic have also confirmed that Juanmar Lilo is the coach that Manchester City are looking at to potentially come in and be Manchester City's new assistant manager. Now, Lilo's assistant over at Al Sadd is Inigo Dominguez, and apparently he is a coach that Manchester City want to add to their coaching staff. So Al Sadd could be set to lose not only their manager, but also their assistant manager to come back to Manchester City. So one to look out for there in Manchester City, seemingly wanting to make moves with their backroom staff. Now moving on to the ins for the players, let's speak about Declan Rice first and foremost. Now Ben Jacob says that Manchester City have not made a bid for Declan Rice as of yet. Manchester City are contemplating making a move. We already know a lot does depend on what happens with the future of Ilkay Gundogan. He signed a new deal at Manchester City. City will be out of the race for Declan Rice. And then I can see West Ham accepting the next bid that comes in from Arsenal 
for Declan Rice. The problem here that Arsenal face is if Gundogan decides to leave and Manchester City decide to come in, West Ham are happy for a potential transfer battle, a bidding war to happen between City and Arsenal. Who's willing to pay more? And I think another problem that you do face here is we already know that Declan Rice is a huge admirer of Manchester City, of Pep Guardiola. He's got friends in the first team squad. Even yesterday, um, Declan Rice put a picture up of him and Jack Grealish smiling with arms with, together with each other. So Manchester City already have the leeway there. I do feel like previous tweets and things that have been sent out by Declan Rice and him keeping hold of former Manchester City players' shirts and hanging them up in his spare room in his house. He's a huge admirer of Manchester City and I firmly believe if City come in and match any bid that Arsenal makes for him and it's a straight-up choice between Arsenal or Manchester City, Declan Rice would choose Manchester City Every single time. It's all about will Man City make that move. And I think that's what Declan Rice and West Ham are waiting on. We will get our answer on Gundogan in the next seven days or so. So hold tight to that one. Now moving on to the big breaking news that's come out in the last hour or two. Matteo Kovacic. Now it has been reported yesterday night that uh, Florian Plettenberg was saying that Kovacic, a deal has been struck and the, deal, and the uh, transfer will be complete by the end of the week and is absolutely spot on the money there. Uh, they've said that City working on a 30 million euro deal. The Mail had said that City were closing in on a 25 million pound signing of Matteo Kovacic and Fabrizio Romano and Sky Sports have reported that Manchester City now have agreed that fee with Chelsea. 25 million pounds plus five million pounds in add-ons based on major trophies won by Manchester City. The bonuses are not included here on player performance performance only on club achievements Fabrizio Romano has given the here we go City have already got a verbal agreement in place for personal terms there uh, that is not the problem the only other hurdle we've got to get over now is getting Kovacic into Manchester getting him a medical getting him that interview the shirt holding up and smiling and Manchester City announcing this transfer I would say this transfer now 95% complete we're just waiting on the final formalities medical will be next Fabrizio Romano says coming days that medical will be sorted I presume that Kovacic is on holiday and at some point towards the end of either this week or the early parts of next week he will come to Manchester his medical will be done he'll go over to the City Football Academy academy he will hold up his shirt he will do his interview and Manchester City will prepare their content to release and uh, obviously uh, put out there uh, their story of Matteo Kovacic officially becoming a Manchester City player what are your thoughts do let me know in the comments below it's believed once Kovacic is sorted we're going after another Croatian international one of his teammates Josko Gavardiol that could be next Things definitely warming up with the ins. Things are going to start warming up with the outs as well. You guys want to stay up to date every single day with all the latest Manchester City transfer news. Make sure you have subscribed to my channel. Press that red button, press the bell and put your push notifications on. Social media links, they're in the description below and sliding across at the bottom of the screen if you want to go and follow me on my Twitter and Instagram. Email also in the description too. If you want to hit me up for any sponsorships for any videos or any general business inquiries, TikTok link also in the description if you want to go and follow me on there. Do let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Kovacic, are you happy with Manchester City signing him? Let me know in the comments below. Finally, do leave a thumbs up. 300 likes is the aim. And I'll see you guys religiously tomorrow for the next daily Manchester City transfer update. So I've been JSGC. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope everyone is safe and well. Peace. Ciao for now.